Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. It's Spicy Friday. Yep, let's talk about that. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by the new CMMG women's line. Fellas, here's your chance to Christmas shop. My favorite is the Grateful, Blessed, and Unoppressed. And here's the Faith Family and Firearms. Hey, it's a t-shirt commercial. Quit looking at that Mark 47. Huge new line of lady shirts. Check them out over at CMMG Inc. Hey, to all of y'all, thank you for every thumbs up, and I've got a bone to pick with a few of y'all. I'll do that at the very end. Spicy Friday, we're headed into Thanksgiving week next week, so excited about that. And I want to say thank you to all of y'all for all the encouragement last night. It was kind of a tough video to make yesterday, and it was a lot of fun to wake up this morning. I went through about three to 400 comments this morning, so thanks for all of that. It's great to have a conversation. Appreciate each of y'all. Spicy Friday, here we go. What's your favorite? Let me know down below what your favorite is. Yeah, this should be fun. I think I got a spicy one. My favorite, I'm saving till the end. And then I'm picking that bone with you people first. <laughs> All right, them. There's nothing you can do to make pedophilia just magically disappear. Me, Alaka Blam. That's a good one. If you don't know that reference, that's a good one. Next. Now, this is not a meme. This is straight from Guns.com's website. A Chinese state factory fair condition used Tokarev, $1,000 in fair condition. Yeah, that's a joke in itself. Looking at you, Guns.com. Next. Check on your friends. Some of them may need help welding. <laughs> if it wasn't for that basement, he'd still be out there. We had a great talk last week at the Epic Shoot about that guy and the way that he had his setup inside of that, the uh I was going to call it bro dozer. From here forward, it's now the bro dozer. Next, the Scoop US says this. Hey, you're taking a leak. In comes Instagram. For official resources and updates about the 2020 US election, visit voting.com. Yeah, that's nonstop on the old feed. Next, I'm confused. We can't eat inside, but we can eat inside as long as the inside is outside. Got it. It's like that one state. Was it Pennsylvania, Vermont? One of them up in the Northeast you can have X number of people at your house, but they don't care how many come in overall. So you can have eight, and then six can leave, a new six comes in, those six leave, a new seven comes in, one leaves. You're traveling 40 miles an hour on a train, and yeah, it's like math. It's like those old math problems. Next. Hey, this is from straight from my comment section. Le Cat says, no one's taking guns away. Your fear-mongering is irresponsible and dangerous. Me. Quote, hells yes, we're coming for your AR-15. Biden's guns are Francis Beto O'Rourke. It's sad if it wasn't so true, or it'd be funny if it wasn't so sad, one or the other. This one's going to hurt. I'm sorry. Next, hard to swallow pills. Republicans had the White House, Congress, and the SCOTUS for two years, didn't touch the ATF or the NFA because gun rights being under perpetual assault is a reliable way to turn out Republican voters. I would also like to add an addendum to that. It's also a reliable way to fundraise. Next. Ah, that hurts. That one hurt. That hurts me a little bit. Next. Wednesday, $499.99. Hold. Thursday, $499.99. Hold. Black Friday, $699. Mark down to $499. Now. How many of y'all are going to be suckers for the coming Black Friday sales? Last night I was in the in murder hallway where I keep all, all my Rudy Tooties. And I was swapping some triggers out and doing this. And finally, I just said, you know what? I need new Geisleys in each of this. So I'm a sucker for Geisleys Black Friday sales. And yes, I know what happened this past week with Geisley. That was a mess. Next, I made this one. This is my meme. Tell me if you like it. Rolling Stone, rolling, not Rolling Stone, rolling into Grand Thumb's comment section like, hey, that comment section is the Wild West. Next, I grew up around guns. Whoa, this is worthless. I did a video on that just the other day. Yeah, if you open with, I grew up around guns, or I hunt. Johnny, I'm a hunter. Or we have we have a shotgun in the house. Don't care what you have to say after that. Whoopty bleeping do. Next. If people, <laughs> if people don't cheat, why don't we have mail-in drug tests? <laughs> Smarmy Leo. Makes me want to take a drink. <laughs> why don't we have drug, drug tests? God's chicken. Next. Oh, this is good. At 9mm SMG posted this this week, and his comment section went nuts. Tim Kennedy parks his car, his car, yeah, with his special forces uniform. I was thinking, if you don't know this about Tim Kennedy, he opens every, every word that he says, every sentence he says opens with, well, as an Army Ranger. Don't disrespect him for serving our country. That's great. 
However, that dude is anti-gun, and we'll talk about that maybe on another day. Yeah, he says, and I quote, this is from March of 18, he says, gun control is a huge solution. I'm looking at you, Tim Kennedy, but not in the face or in person because I don't want to get punched. Next, you're hiding more than 10 Thanksgiving guests under the floorboards, aren't you? That almost made the spiciest of the week. Not bad. All right, here's a long one. Tommy Lerman says this. Some of y'all have forgotten. Have you? Let's start over. Next, Tommy Lerman says this. Some of y'all have gotten so comfortable with tyranny, you don't even recognize it anymore. The government closing your businesses, mandating what you wear on your face, where you can travel, who you can see, and how many people you can invite to your own home is tyranny. Drama Llama, go! Woo! Next, my dog after the ATF finds the third hole that I drilled. Rest in peace, pupper. I promised myself next I wouldn't sing this one, but I love, I love me some Nirvana. And I swear that I don't have a gun. No, I don't have a gun. No, I don't have a gun. Next. I don't know who Monica Wysenowski is. She's a Polish author. Next, she says this. The vaccine should be tested on politicians first. If they survive, the vaccine is safe. If they don't, then the country is safe. Chances that that happens, zero. Remember when they, those people in D.C., voted in Obamacare? Yep, they exempted themselves and their children from Obamacare. And now the spiciest of the day. Here's my favorite. Again, tell me your favorite. Here we go. Oh, this is spicy. I... I had to be double dog dare to put this one in here. Looking at you, Ed, in Arizona. Next, here it is. I'm so happy for you, Joe. I got you a present. It's parked outside. That's some 1960s spice right there. All right, here's my bone to pick, and then I'm pulling this thing out. Here we go. My tool of the day. This thing is an absolute beast. Love this thing. Praetorian Ventures sent it to me in Tiffany Blue. I love it. For the last couple days, I've been saying it. I'm going to say it again all next week on here, surrounded by a pile of hot brass from my cold, dead hands. How many guys, well, it's multiple, emailed in to say, you know that brass actually cools faster than the human body, and so it wouldn't be still hot brass when your hands are cold. Oh, it's a metaphor, people. It is a metaphor, people. I'd roll Drama Llama again if he hadn't already run by. Yep, that one makes me really happy. Hey, surrounded by a metaphorical pile of hot brass <laughs> from my cold dead hands. I did it in one take, y'all. Have a good weekend. Bye.